Hi, my name is Mitch Mitchell, and this is going to be probably a very hard-hitting video, but you know what? It just has to be said. You know, the Oscar nominations came out last week, and I pretty much didn't expect to hear anything that I had seen or that I knew about and whatever, and I was pretty right. And this isn't one of those gripes about Age of Ultron and Star Wars making a lot of money. This is about the topic that has been going around lately, talking about Oscars so white. And, you know, I can't be shocked by anything. I mean, how can I be shocked? This has been a pattern forever. Sure, there have been certain wins here and there, but in general, you know, minorities really don't get a fair shake. And there are some people who are saying, well, no, they get a fair shake. They get to have their movies. They get shown. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> you know, it's incredible how people who are not minorities think they can justify the reasons why minorities don't get nominated for things. We're not even necessarily talking about wins, but rarely do they get nominated for things. And in the scope of the numbers, I mean, you would think that there would be better opportunities. Now, back in the early days, you know, the 30s through the 50s, maybe even mid-60s, okay, there weren't a lot of minorities in movies. So to expect there to be a lot who were nominated, okay, that made no sense. But look, since 1980, since the 80s, there have been tons of movies with minority actors, or we'll say ethnic actors in, in American films, who aren't really nominated, who, who were basically overlooked. And, you know, you can make this a total thing about the Oscars, but it's not just the Oscars. It's the Golden Globes. It's the People's Choice. So I'm going to drop some knowledge on you here, just a little bit of knowledge and then we'll come back to some other points I have. So let's look at the Academy Awards first. So the Academy Awards have been around, what, 70 years, 80 years, something like that. There have been four black male winners for, for Best Actor, and there have been 18 nominated. Sidney Poitier was nominated three of those times. Um, there's been five Latino men, and there's only ever been one winner, and the last one was in 1950. There's been two Asian men, and there were actually three wins. And the thing is... Yul Brynner and Ben Kingsley. I didn't even know they were considered as Asian. There was one black female winner for Best Actress out of ten nominated. And one of those nominated happened to be nine years old. <laughs> really? I mean, I'm not beating up on a nine-year-old, but there were no adult women who were qualified to be nominated. There's been three Latino women nominated. No winners. There was one Asian woman who was nominated ever, and she won. 1935. <laughs> So, let's look at Best Supporting. Black males, there's been four ever uh, who have won and 15 nominated. There have been four Latinos nominated, and there were three wins, and Anthony Quinn won two of them. I didn't even know Anthony Quinn was considered Latino. And there's been one Asian nominated and one winner. So, let's look at the female supporting actor. There have been six black women who have been nominated, or who have actually won and 19 nominated. There are six Latino women who are nominated and two winners, one of them who won a couple years ago playing a black woman in 12 Years a Slave. Turns out she was born in Mexico. Go figure. Uh, <laughs> there's been six Asian women who have been nominated and one winner, the last winner was in 1957. But get this, Meg and Jennifer Tilly. I didn't know they were Asian. They're considered Asian. So they were two of the women who were nominated for this. I thought that was kind of interesting. So let's look at Best Director. There have been three black Best Director nominations, no winners. Spike Lee, are you kidding? He wasn't nominated for either Hurricane or Malcolm. Are you nuts? Really? That, that's, that's the truth. There have been six Latinos nominated and two winners. And there were four Asians nominated. And there have been two wins, both of them by Ang Lee. And... They were actually pretty cool movies. Uh, let's look at music, you know, because people think that Minority is really good at music. There have been eight nominations for black people and no winners. There are no winners for Asians. There weren't even nominations for Asians or <laughs> Latinos. Um, so let's look at the black pictures nominated or pictures nominated. There have been four black pictures nominated ever. And there were one, one winner, which was 12 Years a Slave. Sure, had to be about slavery, didn't it? There have been Asian, uh, eight Asian best pictures, no winners, uh, no Latino movies ever nominated. So, you know, that's, that's a pretty bad ratio. But that's just 
Oscars. That's just the Academy Awards. Let's look at the People's Choice Awards. Um, so the People's Choice Awards, I just did a big global thing because there's tons and tons of nominations. And I just did it for this past year where there were 65 categories and only five minority winners. And one of those was for voice, a voiceover for cartoon, which is Selena Gomez, who portrayed the daughter in Hotel Transylvania which was a fun movie, but really? And then two of them were Cable Awards, one for Kevin Hart and one for The Rock, Dwayne The Rock. You know, he gets a couple of different things, but, you know, and, and that wasn't just black people. I mean, we're just talking about minorities in general. So five nin minorities out of 65. Mm -hmm. So now let's look at the Golden Globes really quick. Um, and Golden Globes are, you know, they're the pre-Oscars, and they have uh, some breakdown in categories. So you would think there'd be a better opportunity for minorities to do well here. Well, they ain't quite true. In drama, the best picture drama for men, there have been three winners ever. And there have been 21 nominated. But out of the 21 nominated, Sidney Poitier was nominated five times. Denzel Washington was nominated six times. And Will Smith, three. So there you go. Uh, for black female, there has been one winner ever. And there's been eight nominated. For comedy or musical, we, you know, we got a lot of musicals. Two wins out of eight nominations uh, for men, one win, and nine nominations for women. For best director, three times, no winners. Best song, there's been five winners out of 23 nominations. By the way, the Golden Globes go way back as well. So we're talking close to 60 years. And for TV drama... There were five men's nominations, no winners, eight women's nominations, three winners, and TV comedy, four winners out of ten men, and one win for women out of eight nominations. So, you know, you've got to sit there and say that this has not necessarily been all that balanced. By the way, the only reason I mentioned white people on, on the last one is because I couldn't find any Asians. I couldn't find the right category to find any Asian folks or find any Latinos. I'm sure there have been some, but there's probably been minimal. And, you know, I, I, I understand where this kind of comes from, where, where folks have this thing where they say, well, geez, those things weren't really all that popular. Yeah, they are. You know what? There are... There are tons of minority movies out these days, and a whole lot of folks who are in these movies who are minority. And there have been some just stellar, uh, you know, presentations and acting and all these other kinds of things, and they don't get nominated. But let's move outside of movies for a chance, you know, for a second. You know, there was someone who busted on a friend of mine because she, you know, made a comment on a story talking about the Oscars so white. And he said, well, geez, you got the BET and they never have any white people in it. Really? Really? That's the best you have? I wonder why that is. Maybe because the only videos that ever get nominated for MTV Awards that are not under a black category are all white people. Maybe that's it. <laughs> Really? I mean, notice the Grammys. The Grammys at least have their different categories. They have the Latino category, and they have the, the uh, jazz category, and they have the rap category. And they, have, they have all these different categories that they move people in and out of. So at least the Grammys are doing something like that. But the MTV Awards? No. The VH1 Video Awards? I, you know what? I think I've ever only watched one, so I can't say for sure. But I've got a feeling that if it's that way for everything else, then it probably is what it is. Now, there's also there are Latino Awards. There's a Country Music Awards. There's a Jazz Music Award. There is the Dove Awards for Christian music. In essence, there are groups of people who are separating themselves out from other stuff to be recognized because they can't get recognized by the big global, you know, main, main uh, award shows that end up on TV. And, you know... I've been kind of carrying this little bug around with me ever since The Wiz was on TV. Y'all remember back, I think it was December, when The Wiz was on, and it was wonderful. The Wiz was absolutely wonderful. And I was following it on Twitter, and I was having a good time talking to all those other people. And then there were a couple people came in and said, how come there's no white people in The Wiz? How come it's got to be all black? I'm thinking, really? Let's see. Because there was a Wizard of Oz that had no black people in it. Uh, the Sound of Music, which came out, had no black people in it. And by the way, 
there were some white people in the Wiz. If you looked at the big dance sequence when they had all the people out there, some of those people were white. A couple of them were Latino. At least I assume. I don't, you know, <laughs> I'm making a distinction. They could have just been white. I don't know. But there were other people in that show. What is it? you got to have everything. You can't differentiate and allow some people who are not white to basically show what they can do. Really? That's the best you got? I remember the complaint used to be about Black History Month. And there's probably still a few people out there, why do we have to learn something about Black History Month? Because you got the other 11 months. <laughs> Are you kidding? Come on. When I went to school way back when, there was no Black History Month. You know who talked about Black History? Yours truly. I was called the militant because I was the only one who knew anything about Black History. And in 11th grade, I actually got to teach a week of Black History at my high school, which was really freaky. And none of the people knew any of that stuff. Some of them had heard the name Martin Luther King Jr., but that's pretty much it. And can you imagine a 16-year-old teaching a class? Well, I did that. And you know what else? I also taught two classes about Native American history. Back then, we didn't call them Native Americans, but still, because... I've got some of that in me as well. So I just happen to know something that no one else knew. Because regular school, traditional school, does not teach anything about minorities. Okay, slavery, really? That's, that's all we get? Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, that was significant. What else you got? Nothing. You know, I mean, come on, people. Let's not be so petty that you got to have everything. Let some minorities enjoy some of these things. You know... Or not. I think Jada Pinkett had a, a video that she put out the other day and she said, you know, as long as we keep depending on the powers that be to recognize us, we're never going to get anything done. So we need to start recognizing ourselves. You know what? She's absolutely right. So this is one of the reasons I put out my own videos. This is one of the reasons I write my five blogs. Yeah, I got five blogs. <laughs> Because I'm not waiting around for someone else to write stuff about me. Uh, yes, do I want to be named? I sure do. Do I want to be mentioned? I sure do. Do I want to get on the top 50 blogger lists and the top 25 blogger lists and leadership lists and all those other kind of things? I sure do. But am I going to sit around waiting to be nominated for something or recognized for something before I do anything? Absolutely not. No, we can't wait for you. And if I have to basically, you know, go to a conference that they call blogger, uh, the, let's see, I think it's called the Blogging While Brown Conference, which is mainly black people. Why? Because nobody recognizes them. You know, there was a thing that came out last week. They talked about the top 50 bloggers. Not a single black person on it. There were a couple of Asian people, a couple of Indian people. Wonderful. Happy for that. Not a single black person. You know what? I've been blogging 10 years. I got five blogs. I got 5,000 articles online. Nobody knows who I am, but I'm not necessarily worried about me. Um, at least, actually, most of the time we get Eileen Smith. <laughs> at least we got one. So, you know, every once in a while. Not always, but at least we got our one. Uh, but still, that's just not right. It's just not going to get it done. So anyway, this is my perspective on this. There just needs to be some fairness. And I know years ago I made a commentary on something and a lady says, well, I don't know any black people. So that's the point. You need to know some. Are you kidding? There's not a black person in this country who doesn't know a white person. But there are white people who don't know any black people. That's all I got to say. Anyway, this is my rant. This was not the video I was going to put up, <laughs> but it's the video that needed to be put up. Maybe next week I won't be ranting about anything. Let's find out. Anyway, I'm Mitch Mitchell. Go ahead, leave your opinion. Keep it nice, because you know, if it's nasty or whatever, it's just going to go away. So don't even waste your time being a troll. And we'll see what happens. Y'all take care.